Oh shit, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're having a wicked day. In this video we're going to be checking out some more wheelchair sports. This time we're checking out wheelchair rugby. Now I've never really played or I've seen it being played a couple times uh, when I used to play basketball before our session they used to do rugby. So I used to watch a little bit. This was maybe 10 years ago or something like that. So it's interesting to see how the sport has developed since then. But yeah, man, anyway, this is from the Tokyo 2020 Paralympic Games. And it says it's the gold medal game. And I believe it's France versus USA or something like that. Uh, I, can't, I think it's, yeah, something like that anyway. We'll see when we press play. But yeah, I thought we'd we'll check out and let's see what wheelchair rugby is all about. So yeah, man, let's take a look. And if you're enjoying this type of videos, Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. But yeah, man, let's get straight into the video and let's watch some wheelchair rugby. Let's take a look. All right, so let's tip off. Okay, so USA versus Great Britain. I was wrong. All right, let's see. Oh. USA are in possession, wearing the dark blue jerseys. Alright, so you can see here, like, this guy in number here, this guy is ramming him. So you can see contact is, you're yeah, fully allowed to, like, smash into people. Uh, earlier, that number 10 in the blue shirt almost flipped over. I don't know if you saw that. But he needs to pass the ball. By Aaron Phipps early in the exchanges. Okay. Picture. And I assume here, the red area, that's the end zone. So you need to get the ball in your position. And cross this line, I believe. I think that's how you get a try or whatever it's called. I'm really not that well. I don't know much about wheelchair rugby, basically. Or rugby in general. I never really watch it. Close to the halfway line. So, they're trying to get it. Number 10's in. Oh, it just dribbles in. Damn. Okay, so you get one point by doing that. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sh did you see that? Yo, this guy just batted him. Yo. Wait, let me go back, bro. That was mad. Did you see that? Watch this. <laughs> My man batted the shit out of him. Look, watch, watch this guy. Bang. <laughs> The strokes. Oh, they're getting aggressive, man. Oh, and that's easy. That's easy. So a try is worth one point. Oh, good pass. Oh. Oh, it's given a foul. So they have no idea why that's a foul and everything else isn't. I think maybe because he hit with the front of his chair. I think on the sides is okay. But I think if you come on f facing forwards. <coughs> Sorry. I think if you go forwards and crash, I think that's a foul. Just across the halfway <coughs> line, but you'll see by the reaction from the GB bench. So there's a lot of contact in this. The possession will be passed over to... Okay, so if it's a foul like that, the other team gets possession, okay. Yeah, not what the United States needed. A turnover inside the first minute. Alright, let's see what happens here. So Jim Roberts surveys the scene. The USA Big contact. Can you get through? Good pass and wow. So it's all about blocking space, trying to stop the other team from possessing the ball. And you're allowed to pass at any moment. So if somebody's close to the line, you can hit a pass. Then you can score a try. So it's it's all about blocking and blocking off lanes so the other team can't possess forward, basically. Interesting. It's very entertaining, I must say. I'm enjoying this. Uh, who's got the ball? Oh, he tipped. Oh, what a pass that is. So my man sees the chair coming, still hits the pass, and then gets battered. It's the bravery to let the pass go when you know someone's coming at you like that. It's tough. Josh over 
Yeah, exactly. The man look, he flipped forwards. And he needs help. It looks like you're falling asleep, bruv. <laughs> Look at this man. That's the coach, James Gumbert. You wouldn't like to play poker with that face, would you? Uh, trust me. A master tactician. Is he alright? But surely, surely that would hurt, man, because man fell forwards. His knees must have smashed the floor. Who actually Literally. Guided the USA oh, and the mat is stuck. <laughs> Just lift him up, lad. There you go. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back here. There. Again, talk about their chair. So if you look here, similar to basketball and tennis, their wheels are quite obviously they're at an angle to help them turn. But these have like wheel covers. You can see here, probably so that the spokes can't get broken or damaged. That's probably why they do that. Ah, uh, England with the ball. Or Great Britain, rather. I find this bit funny because they're like rolling in convoy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like they're about to do a gangbang shoot or something like that. <laughs> a drive by, you know what I'm saying? And they just crash into each other, man. Oh, good block, good block. Ah, uh, man. So I'm not sure what the ref is calling there. With the rules a little too closely and sees himself banished to the penalty box. Why is he? Oh, so there's a penalty box. So man's in the penalty box. What did he do exactly? Britain will have the inbound. It wasn't a try. So there I can't explain to you what's happened. I don't know why he's been sent to the penalty box. So I think if you do something bad, bad tackle, bad challenge, and it's severe, I think you have to go in the penalty box and you sit there for, I think, five to ten seconds. I'm not even sure. Let's see. But that's new. But it only postpones the inevitable. Jim Roberts getting across first. That was easy. He had no option. He wanted to use up more time on the clock there, Roberts, but had no option with two Americans. I must say, this is very entertaining. I think this is better to watch than wheelchair basketball. I think wheelchair tennis is a bit better than this, but this is very aggressive. I like it. It's hard hitting. It's entertaining. No one gives a crap. Bashing into each other. So I love it. It's great to see. See, they're not really, really not afraid to bash into each other. Oh, good pass. That's an easy try, man. Yeah. That's a great pass. All right. Number nine. It's quite easy. No one's blocking him. Number nine. All right. Surely that's too easy. Come on, like You just let him go by. It's quite easy. This is great, man. I'm enjoying this. It's good pass. Again, it feels like the Great Britain are playing quite a high line, so these guys are getting in behind very easily. It's basically one person is in almost every time. Now, obviously, because it's not football, there's not offside, so they can just <laughs> go halfway up the pitch. So couldn't someone just go in the end zone and stay there? And someone just lob the ball to him on halfway court? You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't that work? I don't know. That's kind of like American football there. All right, England with the ball. Oh, he's through. That's it. Easy. Mr. Nitro. Mr. Nitro. <laughs> Mr. Nitro. <laughs> I mean, the speed he showed there. Wow. He's very fast. Oh, USA. Oh, look, he's through again. Possible. Uh, number 14 is free. Excellent work. He's good defense. That's great defense. Good high press. Player timeout. 
the halfway line in the game of wheelchair rugby. Chuck Aoki forced into a timeout. To this is great. Being turned over. An interesting deal. Aoki did have a chance to play. Now, if you're enjoying this like I am, man, put it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this. Side, but this is very interesting to me. I'm enjoying this quite a lot. Like I said, I've never seen this before, so it's great to watch. It's great to watch. Alright, let's see what we got. USA with the ball. Number 10 rolling, he's gone. Look at the speed. Wow, possible. Yeah, well played. I just want to go back there. Look at the speed of him. I uh, press play again. Look at the speed of number 10. Look. He's rapid. And they double team him. It leaves this guy open and he just takes the ball into the end zone. And it's a try, baby. That's fantastic play. Like I said, the speed of that guy. Wow. That's impressive. Very impressive. Oh, now it's England's turn. Oh, good speed. Great speed. Now, again, I'm just going to talk about a bit about disabilities as well. Now, again, these people have probably got spinal cord injury because you can see their head, their neck, their arms. Just, they can move almost any of it with no, uh, with no problems at all. So they've got no like upper body problems. Obviously, uh, below waist they're probably paralyzed but you can see these guys are very strong they're very able their back and neck is nice and straight so they can play this obviously again people like me can't play stuff like this because we would die by seeing the crashes these lot are going through people my condition can't handle this shit so yeah these guys are physical athletes man you can see it Point zero, classific classification players going out at the air. Very evenly matched, those two. So he's talking about classification there. So I assume there must be classification process you have to go through as a player. And because that's what it's like in parity football. You're classified into two groups. So something similar must be going on here. Alright, let's see. Guys are three point classifications. Imagine if they were any better. Well, they certainly play above so I don't know what that means. They're playing above their classification. Obviously, I don't know what that means. It means what they're playing better than their classification is. That would make sense, but okay. <laughs> we'll go with it. Again, number 10 is rapid. Timeout. So again, I don't understand what's going on here. Also, timeout. Okay. <laughs> So you can see, man, this USA team is slightly struggling. The Great Britain are all over them. They're pressing hard. That full court press is impressive. They're stopping USA from playing out from the back. It's great to watch. It's great aggression. That's why it's aggression. I think we've seen evidence quite clearly that the United States don't want to chase the game. Okay. I mean by that is let their opponents get ahead by three to four. But no team wants to do that, right? That Again, look at the defense by Great Britain. Number 10 can't move. But look at that. A good block by number 9 there. 24 is on him. Oh, good interception. It's a 3v2. Yeah, well played. That's fantastic play. Look at that. Look at that interception. Fantastic. See, so that's the risk then of playing long passes. If it's a little bit off and someone intercepts, you'll lose the point. So now I can understand why people won't go long and they just chuck it. Because it's very difficult to throw the ball that far. I think that's what they're going on about here. It's a great, great interception. And he's gone. Again, England. In oh, wow. That was risky. Let's take that back again. Let's take that back. See, I think they're getting antsy and they're, they're pushing too hard. That's a terrible pass. He's been sacked. Yeah, well played. Oh. Are you good, my man? Oh, lucky. 
Look at that. That's a terrible pass, man. Good interception. This is fantastic, man. All right, cool. So I'm going to stop it there, as we'll be here forever. I just don't want this video to be too long. But yeah, I just want to say that was very entertaining for me. I really enjoyed that. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that good stuff as well. And tell me in the comment section below, what do you think about this sport, man? I think it's really interesting. So yeah, man. That's going to be the video, anyway. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. And peace.